Breakthrough symptoms can be defined as symptoms that occur despite being on a regular maintenance medication. So for example, if a patient's getting heartburn despite using a regular alginate, then escalating therapy by adding a PPI would be appropriate. If they're getting increased symptoms despite this and they're on maximum medication with the PPI, what you can do to try and optimize their treatment is again revisit lifestyle, um, look at any other drugs which may be interacting and make sure they're using their drugs in the right way. In other words, they're complying with using them, they're using them at the right time. PPI should be taken 30 minutes before a meal, for example, and instead of increasing daily doses, moving to twice daily doses can be effective for some patients. Some patients may benefit from also having an alginate added in after meals and last thing at night as well as their PPI and some patients particularly with nighttime symptoms may benefit from adding in a H2 blocker as well. If these approaches aren't effective then the patient of course should be referred to their GP and perhaps onto secondary care. There is another problem called rebound hyperacidity which doesn't cause breakthrough symptoms but in fact causes symptoms when the patient comes off their medication. If patients have been on PPIs for more than eight weeks they may develop increased hyperacidity of the stomach when they stop their medication suddenly leading to increased symptoms. This phenomenon can last for several weeks and should be recognized and treated with weaning down the medication slowly and using alginates to help with symptoms.